So now that you've seen the cute stuff, that just leaves the mysterious stuff. Here's Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing with a ghost story about a man who defied justice nearly 100 years ago, right up into the moment he was hanged. Inside the Museum of South Texas History, a taste of history and where we come from, and a reminder of the very first time capital punishment was enforced at a brand new county seat. The story is about a man who is unrepentant after doing a really horrible crime. A reminder of the worst of our past, a man named Abraham Ortiz. And he had kidnapped and tortured for many, many days a woman named Florencia. Abraham Ortiz was arrested, accused of rape, tried and locked away. The Hidalgo County Jail, newly built in 1913 when the county moved its seat here. Abraham Ortiz faced a jury, was found guilty, but reports say he was unrepentant defiant. He tells him, don't think you're going to get away with me by killing me because I will cling to this world like a tick. You will never be free of me. And they're like, why? Why would you do that? And he, and he told them as they tighten the noose around his neck, because there's no heaven or hell. Dr. David Bowles studied this chapter. He says Ortiz watched them prepare the gallows from his cell. When his day came, he climbed the tower. He refused to wear the bag over his head. He said, I want to be able to look every one of you sons of you know what in the eye. On May 12th, 1913 in Edinburgh, Texas at 11 a.m. in front of a small crowd. <laughs> reports say no prayers were made. Nobody came to collect the body. Ortiz was executed. But people say that his soul lingers. And in fact, right here at the museum, of South Texas history, you can go into the remains of that cell and sit there where he sat awaiting his death. And many people say that as they sit there, the temperature drops and they'll hear, hear a chuckle and icy fingers touching their back. This was the first and only time this old gallows was used, but it's still here and still open to the public. Not everyone who visits here has the same experience. Regardless of whether you actually believe in the existence of ghosts, these are places where something very harrowing has happened, something um, tragic. And we ought to feel something, you know, that's part of our humanity. Here at the old jail, a reminder and a soul that some believe still lingers. Because he's unwilling to admit that he ought to be punished. A reminder of a man who defied justice and said he would cling to the world after death. If you come here, whether you feel his presence or believe his soul has moved on, only the walls of this old jail will know for sure. Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News.